What's up people? Welcome to Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos. Today's gadget is the PXN Game Controller. It's uh, the model PXN8663. Uh, pretty basic boxing, you know, basic brown. There's a picture of the controller on it. And on the back it tells you here, system requirements, um, supports Android systems, uh, Android 4.0 and above. It supports Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 9. So you know, smartphones, TVs, TV boxes, tablets, anything with any of those types of uh, devices with Android 4.0 and higher, um, and uh, Windows PC. So this does not support iOS. Just in case you're asking, this is purely a Android and PC controller all right now the box looked pretty plain but when you open it you get a lovely hot red and black controller and you know I love the color red so love at first sight when I see this nice it looks nice and sporty you know hot rod red what else is in the box ah Surprise, surprise, a mini USB cable. And uh, what else is in here? Uh, interesting little clip here. I know what that's for. Holding a device, like a smartphone, for example. We will see. We will see. So that's all that's in the box. And in here we have an um, instruction manual. It's in Chinese here, but let's uh, open it up. And uh, okay, I don't see any English on this one, not a problem. It's easy, of course, it's kind of self explanatory, right? It's a Bluetooth controller, so anyway, this one has English, so it tells you about the buttons and all that. Yeah, I guess we can uh, work it out, but uh, most important buttons right here are the one in the middle here on and off and mode button that's one right here in the middle if you want to hook up this directly to your PC using the wire you can just hook this into your mini USB port on here and then the other end into your PC and you have a wired controller right but it is uh, a Bluetooth uh, capable so this supports Android phone TV set top box yes 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 and PC and it supports Android devices 4.1 above which we mentioned earlier. So, we know about the cable and we know about the uh, instruction manual. So before I look at this clip, let's take a look, closer look at the controller itself. So it's your standard controller with two analog nubs. And these actually deceptively look like pieces of plastic, but they do have a rubberized texture. Um, and they actually kind of feel comfortable on the thumbs and it do feel pretty strong too as well so you can play a lot of rough games like you know f rough or, or high impact games so when I say high impact I mean games where you need to really mash down on the buttons and use them a lot aggressively like in fighting games so this looks like it can handle that this d-pad is right here if you look at the d-pad it actually is a bit it's one one whole piece of plastic but it seems to be like it's right rotating on a central axis like it has a it's a little bit above the plane so it feels like it's a, a joystick with a flathead um, but you can actually feel each of the directions uh, when you do move the um, d-pad which is pretty interesting um, and then we have a b x and y buttons they feel pretty normal they have that membrane type key press uh, feel right right you're, you're pressing the membrane so it doesn't click loud which is good start back button turbo button and clear button this one in the middle is the power button or uh, the mode button as well it also doubles as that here's the PXN logo at the top show the buttons your standard trigger buttons left and right and there's a side view of that and at the very top we have left and right shoulder buttons here we have four LED indicators that will tell you your charging 
uh, to tell you the, the level of charging the built in battery that it has and here's your mini USB port cool now I always like to compare these next to other controllers so you get an idea of the size so here's your typical PS4 controller right so pretty much uh, same size this is a, has a little bit of a uh, actually yeah about the same size I mean the handles on this may be a little bit thicker but they're pretty much identical in size. Now let's look at this clip that it came with. This is an interesting uh, clip. Um, so I'm just gonna see here. Oh, okay, pretty pretty self-explanatory. So this clip actually you can open up to 60 degrees, roughly I think. Yeah, and there's only one position it pretty much opens up to, and it's that 60 degree angle, right? Um, and then it is telescopic, so you can actually expand this to hold larger uh, phones, right? Which is good. Now to put it on, it actually just clips right on here. You just put it on like this. Actually, put this front piece on first, like that. Now you press, and it just clips right in place. So easy. And here you have a controller with a uh, cradle for your phone. Now isn't that cool? And as I said, now with, with, it's in, with it in place, it opens up to about 60 degrees, and then you can put your phone in here. And it does feel like it won't fall out. It feels pretty, pretty strong in there. See. Now speaking of phones, here's uh, my LG here. It's a pretty decent standard size smartphone, and it fits nicely in there actually. Okay. Side view. Here's what it looks like at the back. And what's good is that you can actually still get access to your buttons while hitting the phone. Right? I find some of these controllers they do come with a nice uh, cradle, but the cradle is so close to the to the left and right uh, shoulder buttons you, you usually hit your phone in, in while playing. This one is designed pretty well. You don't get that. There's good clearance. Right? Now this LG phone is pretty large, um, definitely larger than five inch, five, five point three inches I think, or five point five inches. But as you can see, I have clearance for even larger phones. So um, if you have a phablet, it should work. All right. So of course to take the phone out, just take it out like that, and then when you, you can close it and still, yeah, you you, you can close it down. And you can get access to your action buttons, and you, you can use your D-pad. But then you know, the nubs—you can't really use the nubs properly because your fingers hit the uh, the clip. So that's why I guess it's removable when you're not using it for for portable gaming. You can just remove the clip so easily like that, and then you can then use it like a normal controller. So to turn it on, you press the po the mode button for one second, right, and it will turn on. And then if you want to turn it off, you hold the same mode button for three seconds and it turns the unit off. Now I don't have I have not charged this up, so you're not gonna see it light up or anything like that. I'm just going through the, the motions of how to use it. Now when using this uh, via a Bluetooth connection, what you would do is first you press the E button and then you will press and hold down the mode button, right? And then what would happen is that the LED indicated as you can see here oh it is charged it does have some charge in it so I hold the A button and I hold the mode button like this and you see that little blue flash in there that means it is looking to pair with a device right so then you go on your device like your smartphone and you will find uh, the uh, the name PXN8663 that's the name of this controller just click on that on your phone or your tablet and you will automatically pair. And of course, once the pairing is complete, that flashing light would actually, it's not flashing now, but if it was um, paired, it would go from flashing to just a solid, uh, solid, solid color, right? Solid blue. And the good thing about this Bluetooth, kind of, um, this Bluetooth controller, uh, when you pair it with your device, you just have to go through the initial pairing activity once. Uh, if you turn off your controller and you want to and it'll connect back to the same device that you pair with before again. All you do is press the mode button and 
for about one second and then it will automatically pair via Bluetooth with your device. Now it does work with the PC however it does require a wire all right, a wired connection so when you're connecting to your PC um, assuming your PC doesn't have Bluetooth right um, because again it does work as a Bluetooth controller but they do say that if you're connecting to this uh, via a PC you should use a wire right so you obviously will connect your the wire that it came with into the mini USB connector there you connect this into your PC right this cable the end of this cable and then what you do next is once you connect the uh, controller into the PC it will automatically detect the controller install the software and the drivers for the controller and what would happen is that once it's connected successfully to the PC and the drivers are installed both LED number one and number two would be lit, uh, would be um, turned on solid right they won't be flashing they just will be on solid blue and that's LEDs one and two and that means you're connected via wired mode to, your, to a PC after about one minute of inactivity the control will automatically turn off so it would save, you would save battery power this is a very inexpensive controller so if you're looking for an inexpensive Android slash Windows controller that does have Bluetooth functionality um, and, it, and you also need it to be something that you can use for portable gaming um, with the clip here this is a really good buy because um, you can use it as a portable gaming device with your, you know, with your phone or your phablet or if you don't want to have a portable gaming device it also turns into a conventional gamepad now if you want to get more information on these or if you want to get yourself one of these check the link below this video um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you do like it and feel free to leave some comments that being said this is Richie signing off from Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos happy gaming hey everybody so I hope you enjoyed that video. Now I'm going to ask you to do two things before you leave. One, there's a button right up here on the screen to my right here. Click on that and that will take you to our website www.redtechbot.com When you get on that site there will be a button there where you can actually sign up for our newsletter and when you do sign up for our newsletter by entering in your email address you will automatically be entered into all of our tech giveaways and by tech giveaways, these are some typical examples of what we will be giving away. Uh, and these are some examples, there's other stuff as well. Um, and the good news is, you're, you know, you just have to enter your email address once and you know, it will automatically be entered into the pool every time we do a draw. Um, and we will use that email address, of course, to, to contact the winner, to tell them, hey, you've won something. Um, and you know, it's, it's, uh, it's really cool. And of course, the newsletter will have you know, you know, updates on tech reviews, what's coming up new, uh, you know, what's coming up next, um, you know, new stuff uh, in the industry, and even information on, on future giveaways, right? So it's really, 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 really nice newsletter that we're going to be uh, uh, sending out. And one other thing is, on this side on the screen here, up here, on my left, uh, you click on that and you will subscribe to the channel. Now, by subscribing, of course, you will be, you know, at the forefront of any new things that are happening, any new videos that are coming out. Um, and what I will also be doing is I'll be doing videos where I'll be talking about what we're going to be doing as a next giveaway, right? So you want to be, you know, subscribed, tuned in to that as well. So it's going to be a fun year and fun years to come as well. So, yeah, that being said, you guys have a great day. Bye.